It's almost time for grades, but you've got a few weeks to bump up on those scores. So kids, listen up. We have Alexis Saliva. He's the founder, prepped and polished tutoring and test preparation. We're talking five ways to get an A in school. Yeah, definitely. Uh, happy Friday the 13th. Yeah, uh, <laughs> these are yeah. real tips. They're all good tips, and it's important. These little things that uh, kids can do can make a huge difference on their life going forward, college placement, job placement, and so on. I got kids coming in my office with C's, D's. They don't know how to get A's. Uh, so if you want to take it to the next level, you got to do some of these things. So right. and, and they're not things that require a lot of smarts. Uh, the first one, just pay attention in class and take notes. Look. Taking notes in class keeps you focused on the class. Mm -hmm. um, so, and what? Here's a little tip for taking notes: Ar uh, arrange your notes in question format. So, why did James Madison write the Federalist Papers? Mm -hmm. And then answer succinctly. And then, when it comes exam time, cover the answer and try to recall it. That will keep you on top of the material. Uh, if you need a refresher on how to take no do notes, mm -hmm. take notes. Summer note-taking courses are helpful. Really? So, yeah. so take a summer note-taking course. Yeah. Number two. Get on the teacher's good side. Now, do you necessarily mean, are we being teacher's pets here? No, that could hurt your grade. Okay. All right? You don't want to put an apple in front of your teacher's desk and kiss butt, yeah. so to speak. But, exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, instead, you want to earn your teacher's respect. Okay. You want to get A's. So, how do you do that? Four ways. One, show up to class on time. Two, uh, come prepared, do your homework. Mm -hmm. Three, come with a positive, enthusiastic attitude. You're in the back row, throwing paper airplanes, probably not going to get an A. No. Finally, Ask questions. Even if you're shy, there's not a dumb question. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it'll keep you focused on the class. And uh, a little inside tip is yeah. go to your teacher's office hours from time to time. It kind of shows your teacher that you care, you're passionate about the course. He'll reward you with an A. That's a great point because I, I hate to say it, it's not all numbers. There is some subjectivity in there when teachers are giving grades at the end of the year. I think so. Always do your homework. No exceptions, kids. Each and every day, uh, no exceptions, because most of the learning is what you do on your own. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, and learn to love to do your homework. Now, I know that sounds weird, but reward, give yourself incentives. If you finish your math homework, get that snack after. Mm -hmm. If you, did you finish that big project on Friday? Sure, go to the movie that you want to do Friday night for doing a good job well done. And this is really where parents can uh, be the heroes here. If they're active and aware enough parents to be on their kids about their schoolwork, they can set up a great reward system too that will incentivize kids to do good work. Definitely. And one more point is that if you have like a learning disability or you're a little slower processor, mm -hmm. you're going to have to reserve like double time to do your homework That's just true. so you can reread the chapter. So it's all about planning. It's also all about prioritizing, too. There's so much, and adults face it, but kids face it, too. There's so much in front of them that they have to learn, but we have to prioritize it in a system that works for us. Yeah, it's so easy to spend, like, 20 hours on an essay that's only worth 5% of your grade, mm -hmm. and two to three hours on an exam that's worth 20% of your grade. So, obviously, you've got to spend a little bit more time on those exams. What I recommend you do is you spend... Uh, you start studying for your exams two weeks out, so you don't want to become a procrastinator. We're talking about getting A's here. Yep. So it's all about planning. It's a great idea, too. So look at the syllabus. I remember in all my college courses, you're right, they had percentages uh, that each thing was. You know, homework was 10%, exams were 20 So prioritize those things that give you the biggest count. Absolutely. Lastly, we all know this, eat healthy, sleep well, exercise, all the fun stuff in your life. You need to find a balance. You want to get A's? Well. You can do it, but it's going to be very stressful. There's a lot of juggling around. Mm -hmm. So it's important to eat well, sleep, uh, get your get eight, seven, eight hours a night, and exercise, but, and have fun because, yeah. you know, you can, get you can get stressed getting A's, so you want to maintain a balanced, healthy, healthy lifestyle. Have a good time while you get A's. Always a pleasure having you here. Speaking Thank of you. developing...